So next up is Furon Gallico, which, oh, it is Celtic, but they originated in Italy, so. The Gauls were Celts as well, I think, yeah. Um, Gaul Fury, I don't, okay, I don't know. Um, Gaul Fury, I don't, I feel like I'm, there's a word I'm missing, Gaul, not Gaul, too. There's, okay, they said Gallico. Translation, translation. Gallico, Gallico cats. No, <laughs> Gallico cats. Uh, I'm so funny. I'm so funny. Gallic, yes. Okay, I would assume that is in relation to the Gauls. Um, the Gallic. Yes, relating to the Gauls. Anyway, uh, for uh, for the Gallico. Canto de Dinver uh, Dinverno, so Song of Winter. And oh, I meant to see if they were, because just from the looks of this, this looks like another symphonic metal. Um, but is it also like progressive metal? Like, what is. I, and I'm probably at some point going to lear, ha lear, have to learn all of the subgenres and what makes them what they are. Um, but that today will not be. Oh, so it says folk metal band is what's listed on Celtic Harp. Well. Okay, Italian folk metal. English and Italian. Okay. A Lombard dish. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. I feel like this has been on this playlist for a while, and every time I see it, I'm just like, mm, it looks super dramatic, and I'm not ready for it right now, so I hope it is. I don't know what I expected. A lot of them. They're all in black. Why? I guess for contrast? I expect her to be singing, but maybe a couple of them will be singing? I don't know. Are these not all members? Some of those are actors? I don't know. Anyone gonna sing? <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone else, you have this woman who's in like her corset. Everyone's in this black, looking dramatic. The man is playing the flute. This guy's looking pensive. But dude on the drums is wearing a zip up hoodie. Okay. Okay.
The guy in the recorder seems to be like the most fitting, dressed, and just attitude-wise, besides the woman who is they're talking about is just walking around looking dramatic. Not that one, the other one. Um, okay. I know he had referred to her as uh, Senora del Bosque and other stuff. Did I miss the part where her hair is now white and she's not wearing red instead? Okay, someone explain. Someone explain. This, oh, there's a part I like that was around here. Her back into the background. So the whole thing I'm thinking the whole time I'm watching this is this is like the perfect band for like a movie or a series, whatever. Either where there's time travel and someone travels back to like uh uh the past or whatever or um or it's just set in like you know i don't even know what decade maybe the 1400s or 15 uh, whatever and you know the, the, our, our our focus is on an adventurer who has come to the local town right and he enters a tavern and the tavern has it's local musicians and these are the local musicians right so this is that that's that one setting could be it could also be that type of setting where you have a story playing and the musicians are half breaking the fourth wall like they're narrating the story of what's happening along these are sam also those musicians um so those are the vibes these this group is giving me this song did not grab me however um it's an interesting sound but it did not grab me uh i would like clarification on when that woman became this was she she now winter lady what was she before i don't know thanks for watching